reason why I started playing Ethan more because I just felt a little bit more consistency with him. Yep. I mean, obviously Car Lucario is the inconsistent character, but it, one, if I could be having go. a bad day and still be like, okay, with Inkling I can grab an up air and you know, that, yep. that's a true combo every single time. Lucario is like, oh, I gotta read the roll with an F smash or something. We play a completely different game. Yeah, well, right now, luckily at least for the two people on screen, you're having a pretty good day. You know, Six got knocked into losers before and now brought it all the way back to losers finals, and yeah, now we're. Really good run right now. This is, look, this is the only place you see multiple times in one night me Sword Fighter versus Incineroar. And it happened to be two different ones. <laughs> I know. Yeah, there's like three different Incineroar characters here. It's like one. Yep, we have three in this building because I it's mean, there's only three in the whole world. <laughs> you saw the poster. We, we've reached the Zangief here. So. Yeah. And if Hindsight is going to play the same matchup as before, we might have some rough stuff coming more because uh, we saw that Chavo did a good job of kind of playing the passive game and then got hooked at the end where Hindsight made the adjustments six is going to keep the same game plan. and he's been also pumping the brakes at the right time where he just dodges around all of these projectiles and he's holding a good lead because of it yeah he's, he's really good at dodging with as in Cinero. like he's a big tall beefy character and he's just like moving right through yeah and he do these nares these anti-air nares have been tremendous he got him off ledge before with it and he catches there's that telling you like is. that jump call from ledge he, like normally you'll see a fading fair to like call a jump out as a good ledge drop option he waits and he's so confident in his ability to get that ko also uh for anybody who's watching and when 6 a.m. dies, or if he gets a kill or whatever, and you just see him forward smash just randomly, that's because of the taunt that does at the end. 6 oh. a.m. just <laughs> likes the taunt that does at the end. So it's not just like, like, we saw him get punished for it, and you know, it's something that'll happen. But if you're just curious, why did he have smash when there was no one there? It's because of the taunt. It's, and it's it's also a good way to get somebody's head too. And there we go, calls him out on the jump again. He's reading hindsight's jumps over and over, whether it be in center stage. That's a stock, there you go. Now he's at, like no range, so he's able to get the down throw up there. This is still very doable for hindsight to make a comeback. Yeah, you can still, you know, now that neutral's been reset a little bit, uh, you can actually, you know, start getting some compliments. I like the attempt he tried to go for there to try and get down air, but he has missed the timing on the down air all day in terms of beating up cross drop because if you only get one hit, it does not beat cross drop. Yeah. So we need to get back to stage. Yeah, look at the stock so far too. Like we were just talking about, he has the ability to make a comeback. He's in. He's making. Uh oh, along the whip though. That that that'll get him at least at minimum stage positioning in twenty percent. Yeah, hindsight. He can still do it though. Get a good tornado combo going. He's got it. Yeah, I mean, all the basically the biggest thing right now is keep away. Unfortunately for him, he got the sour hit on up air. He's getting pretty close. Actually, no, I think he's out of range for down throw up here at this point, so he's got to like fish for a hard KO. Yeah, not, yeah, not the strongest move, unfortunately, for them. But yeah. was that wow. F kill or F that was F smash, and he still didn't die. There we go. Dash attack. That was gonna do it. Dash attack do it. Now at least we're even stocks. Uh, hindsight, a little bit behind. Now very behind. Maybe a lot of bit behind. Yeah, he's gonna be forced to give him a free revenge here. To oh, never mind. He was out of position. And, uh, 6 a.m. can do 6 a.m. things. I did not know that down tilt would beat out the up on startup at the ledge, because that's an option that hindsight would do often. Up throws, that is it, though, with revenge that, deck especially. That is game one going to 6 a.m. Again, 6 a.m. just kind of came out of nowhere. It's crazy to see it. And, and again, 6 a.m., love him, great guy and everything. But he chooses the worst Incineroar skin. Oh, it's the, the most disgusting the one. Diary of Green. Green. Dude, Green Incineroar so skin. So many of the green skins in this game are just it's disgusting. Just There's atrocious. so few, like Fox, great green skins. That's yeah. probably like the main go-to one. Yoshi, default, obviously. Obviously, but, yeah. Um, can't, I can't, Mario's is disgusting. Like, uh, Lucario's green skin is so gross. I'm yeah. like, why would you ever pick that? Dude, all of his other skins are like, you know, good to decent at best. But the green one is just like, don't ever pick that skin. You know what it's that one reminds good. me of whenever I look at it? It's like, you know when you, as a kid, decided to mix a bunch of crayons together just to like get a color? And then that's that's what it, that's what it looks like, I, I, in my view. You wanna hop on? Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll hop out. What, on this? Oh, that's me. That's me. No, 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 it's because the camera's like off. Yeah, yeah, like, nice. Yeah, I move stuff a lot, I'm a lot. 
here. All right, well, it was a pleasure commentating, and again, thank you. No, I appreciate it, man. Thank you for coming out, Logan. Uh, obviously, you don't have to leave anytime soon. We're getting into losers' finals as I get joined by losers my boy, finals. who I haven't seen in so long. We got oh, Absolution. Geez. All right, so it's Sailor Ruber versus me, Swordfire. I mean, I assume this matchup is definitely in this Ruber. It is, but at 6 a.m. took game number one. Uh, we, hindsight was playing against Chavo early, so it's like the two very different styles of the game. Like, Chavo, uh, like, scraped them game two, while hindsight made incredible adjustments. It's all about keeping the platforms away, playing passive against the Cinerar. 6 a.m. is a very campy dude, though. So, like, he, he, he can deal with that. He's fine with playing slow with you, too. Yeah, he's fine with just taking his pace now. Like, I definitely noticed that watching the last time was so better. It's crazy. It's really interesting to see a grappler in the comments. Oh my god. This man just like ripped him out of that board. I did not think that he was gonna be able to get that grab that position. I think the biggest annoyance that can happen in hindsight favor is the Alright, never mind. Usually revenge is that I was just about to say revenge is a big issue there. And he got the finally finally gets a downer that worked. He's not been able to get a downer all day that works on like a recovery, and he finally snatched him up there. That's gotta get him some momentum mentally, especially. I mean, he's been looking good lately too. Like it's been incredible to watch him the past few weeks. He just he got third last week. He, oh, got, wow. he also lost to uh, uh, Lane in winners finals. So he's got a redemption chance here to possibly get the rematch if he can get through six. Goes for it. Okay. Yeah, high cross top is occasionally it's kind of reckless like that. Yeah. Well, like sometimes these people just fall asleep on you just oh, yeah. just bash them in the face. Like, I saw that. You didn't see this shit coming. I saw. I saw what was going on in hindsight's mind. Let me say that would have been swaggy. Yeah, and when it comes to like the most annoying thing too for this character, everybody in this matchup is fighting Tornado at ledge. Incinera don't have the best dodges off ledge. Like he's got rolling whip, but that's predictable. And that move is a good way to condition people who think they can always move to get up in front of tornado because it just hits you now he's trying to condition him to not go for neutral get up anymore and it's working yeah no i mean that's dead oh he missed oh, wow. it wow that's the normally you get knocked up at a window like a perfect range yep, to immediately get from the oven so i wonder if that was maybe a CI thing or percent might be CI. Yeah, I think it was where he hit him. I think he dropped down. He tried to use the aerial off ledge. But yep, you. There is no DI in the world that'll save you from the back air. <laughs> there you go. There it is. Like, and, and also, hindsight doesn't use the hero spin version, which normally you can do. You can kill people like seventy. But the reason okay. why is it's the same as me. you don't want to get oh, really yeah, 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 like yeah. punished or recovery for that. I feel like hindsight now is a bit more, a bit more aggressive. Yeah, he's. More He's, he's playing mid-range well. Like, he's not over-committed. Yeah, exactly. like that, and that's something a lot of people don't, like, anybody who doesn't know that term, it's an FTC term, and it's used in fighting games in general. You play within a range that looks like you could possibly run up and poke or get, like, any type of approach, but you bait people out. You always just play within yeah. a character like this, exactly. and he's outplaying six because of that. And, I mean, etc. doesn't have the best burst speed. That's no, why. Not. Yeah, I always prefer to playing Street he is he's quite literally the furry version of uh, Zenki. Unfortunately, I had yeah. to put that in people's heads, but it's oh, the boy. truth. That's his whole concept. <laughs> Goodbye, though. Yeah, oh, no, no, that, he, oh, wow. no. At, at 154, I th you're right. You were almost right. That was, was almost alive. Wow, that was crazy. That is a dumb, strong move. Now, this is where, like, things can get scary. And even though your actual combo windows... Yeah, actually, these spaces went really well. Like, one revenge to one solid hit, this is an even game. Oh, God. All right, that's unfortunate for him. He just missed that. So now he's got to accept this whole ledge trap. I'm scared for him. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm tense right now. I mean, it seems like he's trying to switch up what he's doing. He's, oh, there you go. Good bait, bro. Good, good bait. Because, like, every single time... Hindsight, like the past like 27 interactions of Ledge, he makes it up between Tornado, and yep, then if you wanted to tell exactly. him, no, you're not neutral get up, he put out, he put out the, um, the side beat. Yep, the, so uh, what did he do chakra. afterwards? He always jumped. Yep. That time, Six thought he had it mixed up by exactly, finally right. using the Alolan Whip at the end. He's like, no, 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 I don't, I can wait for you to press the button first. I can move out exactly. of the way. He's got the, you have the speed of me sort of like, it's hard to yeah, and also Volta confirmed. This is in fact Absol. We yeah, stole him again. It's been forever. 
Yeah, yeah I, compl- I forgot. Yeah, yeah, you said you were gonna be able to come because uh, you had that thing that you had to do yeah, before here. But this one, uh, I actually kind of like the stage pick here because you get the same concept of what you wanted out of PS2, but smaller yeah, room. Exactly. Uh, so you don't have to run in nearly as much. But I, I think if this is anything at all, the way that uh, he fought against Chavo, six is big in, in for a bad time. Luckily, at least it's loses finals. So yeah, a six AM also has the ability to make some adjustments. Okay. It's been a very you, like only in CT do you find freaking me sword fighter versus uh, oh. like it's our lose. Oh, you're dead! Oh my oh. god! Wow! Wow, he really just went. That was an insane, like insane. And he might die right now too. Yeah. Watch, daughter! Oh my god! It, oh. Six is going in right now. <laughs> And like a very underestimated factor is the amount of kill that clips the player. Yeah. Just getting clipped like that and losing your full stock, especially after the performance that uh, Hindsight put on last game. Yeah, that's that's the whole point. Like, 6 a.m. is a mental game person, out of game and in game. He's super nice, but then he plays yeah. passive and he plays and he does taunts in game 20 times over. Oh, and yeah, oh, he wow. missed the tech and he's yep, not going to be able to get the drift back. Look at this answer back I mean, from 6. This stage just really helps 6. It's going to a lot because less is that one you have to accept if they if uh if they read it. Like they put out the projectile, force the revenge, and I mean he's a whole stock down though. So we need to see hindsight get one of those very strong zero to death like like style stocks we've seen out of him before. It sure looks like he's looking for it right now. Oh, that's a jump. Oh my god, the read too. He knew he was gonna get aggressive there. He knew he wasn't gonna dip low. I think he was fishing for yeah, yeah. yeah, it seemed like uh, he got the sour spot. If he got the sweet spot, that was probably death because down to off air is a true kill confirmed uh, for a good while. All right, back air. That's a weak back air, unfortunately for him. Yeah, this is, yeah oh, this, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, it's 81% now, 126 to 81. Like, there's not too many situations here that you could see Hindsight making a solid comeback, but... Yeah, I mean, you'd have to play completely. I think, at this point, you got to look at the clock a bit. It's like, okay, I have five minutes to play. I have to slow down a lot. Uh, I almost feel like he mixed up the timing of that side beat to kind of get him, like, he did before he always did the soul timing. Yep. So he's like, hmm, hey, here's a free I punish. Know, I don't take it, no. 81% is not a huge de- Oh, whoa, 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 oh god, oh god. god. <laughs> Jeez! Huge episode is about to be massive the way that he's just running around waiting for that, uh, that roll read. Oh, miss spacing again. That's the second time he's been grabbed out of that. Goodbye. All right, well, game number three goes to- Yeah, <laughs> for a second thought he wasn't gonna live. Uh, so game number three going to 6 a.m. 6 a.m. is doing what many other people cannot do in these type of situations against uh, very, very strong passive characters. Mm-hmm. Slowing the game down. Yeah. And it's not the easiest thing to do whatsoever against the Zonger type characters. Yeah, absolutely not. But I think that Incineroar, the way that you have to play him is a little bit different from other characters in that archetype, which is that he can really abuse you make you approaching him because of how heavy he is. Yes. And how far he is to get in. Yeah. If you're if you don't know what you're doing, and there's definitely some sort of like a matchup and experience factor there. If you don't know what you're doing, you're getting yoinked. Dude, matchup and familiarity is like the key of what we're watching exactly. right now, right? Because like right. you're right, like if you are over committing, overextending against Incineroar all the time, you get into his range and he just blows you exactly. up. Exactly. And then, but on the other token, if you don't know how to deal with uh, ledge pressure from the sword fighter, you die. And we're seeing the big reason why he's even winning at all right now, or staying close, is because he knows how to deal with the sword fighter at ledge. Exactly. He's not getting caught by those tornadoes. Not, absolutely not. He's. I, mean, even I think I watched. I mean, hindsight missed more ledge, ledge guards mm-hmm. there than he even uh, confirmed. Mm-hmm. Which is also like it's crazy to do with your, when you're fighting. Incineroar. Yeah, and when you get the high percents, you lose that in, uh, invincibility, and tornado yeah. rips you right off. So like, six has got the timing down. And uh, this is an interesting stage pick in my mind because the platform hits are a little bit I think I get why though. He's forcing. He's he's gonna get different mix up at ledge. And the splash zones are a little bit more in his favor, but he also gets the FD type layout in the center, so it's easier for him to get the mix ups. But he also gets the kill options on the That's platform. True. 
other end too, if Hitsora is forced to recover high, he if you cross if he cross tops or something too high, he might just land on top of the platform. Yeah, that's a free stop. And he's he's controlling the pace, but I don't feel comfortable for him right now. <laughs> Can't see, that's why one opening in in Hitsura just evens it right back up. Incinera has always been that character that I said is one speed buff away from top 15. Oh, like, absolutely. he's literally waiting to destroy this game. Like, it's, it's right there for him. Oh, I, think, I think all it takes is a speed buff or even just some, some in the chat. Yeah, I mean, just give him Kazuya's crouch dash. Yeah, right. <laughs> crouch dash. Imagine Incineroar crouch dash. Okay. And the entire game, game is now an Incineroar ditto. <laughs> I like it. That double down tilt was nice. Tilt. It's super, super safe. It's a good poke option. Uh, it has very little end lag, so it trips people up. And now, I mean, this this set has been so good. They've been really back intense. and forth like just waxing each other. Dude. Just good old fashioned Super Smash Bros. Like. I haven't heard one nice back air either, so I'm not going to do that. No, we're, we're, that's, 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 that's how we do things. So I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm a little I'm above that. that, 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 I'm, above that I'm above that now. Above that now. <laughs> <laughs> I am, am not above saying stupid stuff, though. Like, this is still an even game, but Incinerar has got one stock left, and oh, he's okay. down three because Incinerar is scary. He is. He really is. He's called, like, the one thing he's had throughout the entirety of his set is the consistent ability to call out jumps. He's been so on point with that. But, I mean, hey, hindsight's holding the lead right now. With grab. Nope, nope, nope. nope. <laughs> yeah, there it is. There it is. Old neck. See the chiropractor in my dude. Back. Like, he's got 20-20 vision. Uh, and he saw that and he saw that mistake. Yeah, he did. He's, yeah, he, he saw did. through it. <laughs> Good roll read. He's, man, these have been, like, baby's first roll read type yeah. responses, but he's yeah. constantly catching. Like, he knows he's rolling out of, uh, and, like, as soon as he comes off the platform. And that's a really, that's a really cool roll like, people watch. Just sometimes you take the same for the take easier often, but you know, Yep, like simplicity is key sometimes. And like you just wanna <laughs> I hate you skip. <laughs> you know what? No, actually that no that's great. I, let's go skip. <laughs> oh, revenge? He's gonna get out of it? Nope. Alright, yeah. That Oh wow, another Six revenge. Alright, another revenge on deck. This is Run! Run yeah, right, hindsight! That is, that is Run! Terrifying. Oh. Where's the alone? Your life's at stake here! <laughs> Now, revenge is on a timer, correct? Or is it just uh... It, it is on a timer okay. as well as if you take 30%, it goes away. Which, I, he still hasn't yet, but he's getting close. Yeah, he's definitely getting close. I mean, he's... This is... This, Alright, there we go. Alright, so he sh it should be gone now. There it is. Yeah. Now the game can go. I'm telling you, I was sweating. Watch that. Yeah, and luckily, at least for Incineroar, I mean, granted, he's about to die soon. There it is. Yep. That's exactly how he beat Chavo on uh, the, the winner's... Quarter set as well. So good yeah, job. <laughs> it's very similar. This yeah. character, this like when we talk about all the great ledge trap characters of this game, uh, Misard Fighter is a weird character, not very picked often, and it's a very niche matchup type thing that you pick mm -hmm. a pocket for. But they have incredible ledge traps. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like, Psyche is dumb. Absolutely. Tornado's dumb, and it makes people scared. They don't want to jump. They don't want to press a button. They don't want to roll on because they yeah, it's good. you can't hit it away. You know, <laughs> you, it, you have to hold that. Like exactly. if, uh, especially if you neutral get up, free. Oh yeah. Goodbye. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you. Shake, shake my hand. You are right. You're going home. Hey. Oh shh. It's Papa. It's Papa Homer. You know, <laughs> I almost want to clip this because Boosk said this earlier when commentators just yelled to their boy, Johnny! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna clip it and put it onto his tweet. That's so funny. All right, so here we go. Getting into game number five. We got more Smash Bros. to play, dude, and we're running it back to home field advantage four and six, even though it is his counter pick and he's a wider stage. He definitely looked really good here. Oh, he did, he did. It was definitely a whole different and you know for a fact, no Smash Bros. left open, no tiny stages are left exactly. open, and he and he's probably saw what Hindsight did earlier on Battlefields, he's like, mm, no, no, not I mean, this is basically, uh, like, this is an upset to be made, even though Hindsight has been, like, performing well. Six has been put in this position all, like, the past three weeks, and he's gotten second pretty much only to life, or getting third consistently, but behind people like Melvin. Yeah. He was second seed tonight for a reason. Oh, oh, there we yeah, go. There it is. There it is. That is the, it's like oh, the oh. way he conditioned him again. And that time, yeah. it was actually, I think he just two framed him with that yeah, time. He did. He did. It was the shock room put him off. Or something. Yeah, 
Just look at the spacing now, not getting hit so much from before. Uh, where, you, where are you going? There it is. Very easily to watch this, this stock move flip. Just like that. True enough. And shout out to, you know, to that Sub to Ajax is your daddy. That is, that is right. So, <laughs> I was about to go, I was about to like get real deep for a second. Just try doing like the Draymond. Yeah, right. I don't know why, I don't know why. Can't get enough of these raids. Oh my it god. Just, he, really, he really went for that raid. And I'll be honest, if it hit, it would have been. You know what? I like it too because he's conditioning him to not jump exactly. a bunch, right? So he finally goes for a hair dodge call. But now he is looking at a three stock deficit. Yep. Hindsight is the Sin Slayer on the night so far. And now Six just kind of rethinking. That's just a hard, that's a big hard fight to make. Not even Especially getting the kill there with the back, back air. Oh my god. Ooh. He's actually about to start with. So now he's got. Um, I mean, that's like, that's just a whole lot of stocks. A whole lot of pretend he's going to deal out. Yeah, there it is. The is going to do it. it so, there, okay. this is... So, it's anywhere about one stock, 0% of the matchup. For, yeah, but I mean, like, if he gets a, like, if he gets a couple of revenge stacks, exactly. he can easily get him to kill percent fast. But hindsight is having absolutely yeah. nothing to do with that and right I mean, now. That right there, it feels... Honestly, it feels like this game, hindsight is kind of that sort of flow state now, where yeah. his character is just moving and it's happening. Yeah, when you reach an autopilot that is allowing you to win, that's incredible. Exactly. You, like, and at the moment, we're also at a window where it's his game to lose. Exactly. He's pretty much everything is on. And there oh, it is. There it is. <laughs> yep. Wow. Yeah. That was a. That felt so much faster than it was. Yeah, that was incredibly done by hindsight because that was, oh my God, boy, there was God. so many times in those situations where you see. Like, people will not budge at ledge, and he conditioned mm -hmm. him hard to not, like, move, right? But yeah, what exactly. did Hindsight finally do at the end? He got him to stay there too long, mm -hmm. waited out the invincibility from yep. a far enough space where he's like, nah, that's not going to hit me. Yeah. But, 